how to get the arm bar, which is a one by three by one by 20 hole VEX piece onto your gears. So um, you'll see here, um, my gear, I got everything else set up. And uh, the first step I'm gonna do is reorient this top gear, okay? So um, you'll see I actually, um, hopefully it's gonna go here. Here we go. Uh, position it so that it looks like this, okay? Um, and yeah, you wanna make sure it's got this kind of two at the top um, with the one underneath, all right? So that's the orientation. And actually what I will do is uh, you'll see the next step it's just this little pin, I ground it in that position. Okay, meaning, um, you know, I clicked on this, I said, uh, find in browser, I went to wherever it was. Um, actually, let me just do that, find in browser, whoops. And um, I actually right clicked on that thing and said ground. Okay, right now it's, it's grounded, so the only option it's giving me is unground. Okay, so I got it grounded. <clears throat> Um, it's because we don't want it to rotate as we're putting on the uh, little arm bar. Okay, next, um, I brought in this piece, okay, and uh, the reason, yeah, so when I went to place it, um, I spun it so that it was approximately what it would be. Um, little tip for you, when you bring it in, if you actually like spin it down, um, we'll say, uh, on this axis, okay, um, to a 45 degree angle, Okay, or probably we'll say 45 degrees or something uh, uh, that's a multiple of that. That's going to be the perfect alignment. Okay, um, so that's really handy. Uh, so, yep, then you'll pl just uh, leave it there once you got it in there. All right, next step. Uh, ca capture the position. Uh, following that. Um, something else I did is I actually, so this is me joining it to uh, this piece here. Um, I didn't show you this, but let's go back one. Before I went to um, join to that, I actually turned the visibility off of this one. Okay, so it's the gear right above it, all right? And I just went like that. And that way it's a lot easier for me to see what I'm doing over here, okay? Um, so um, yeah, I'll leave that visibility off as I show you these next few steps. Let's go to this view. All right, so moving forward. Yeah, basically I just join it so that, um, let's come back a little bit and redo that. The uh, top hole here is going to line up with the top hole here. Okay, um, so it's just a rigid constraint, and you know, pick the opposite side of this, and then this this side here, and um, you know, line it up so that when it's actually joined, if we look at this here, uh, we could have bolts go through these holes. Okay, uh, that should bring us about up to where things are at now, and I think maybe that does. Um, oh yeah, I ungrounded that, so now I can move. And while I'm at it, uh, let me turn the visibility back on this. And then let's go to our, uh, what you might call it, joint, where I can animate this model and you'll see it go. Um, I have it labeled right here. All right, so right click, animate model, and there it is. Now, um, you'll notice this isn't the most accurate because that piece of metal is traveling right through the other pieces, but um, it is sticking with it the way we want. So that's all you need to do. Um, you will notice also, if I go to the front view and I hit escape, um, this thing actually is a little bigger than the space that we left in here. Okay, so um, we're not gonna really fix that at this point, but um, that is something to keep in mind. Um, and um, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on why that is and how we could fix that um, from our model perspective. Okay, thanks much. Uh, check out the next video.